on the road. And you can see that there's, oh, you can hear off in the distance some zebras. I wonder if those zebras may have maybe seen these lions, because sometimes that is an alarm call that the zebras will make when they do see a predator like lions. But I mean, the grass is so long in this area that it's, it's quite tough to even see it. It even took us a little while to find these lions when they were walking through the long grass. But I was saying that it is quite a chilly morning here on Anbion Pinda. That sun is starting to rise and it, it is warming up a little bit, but it's a perfect day for these lions to be active this early on. And with those youngsters in the pride, there's a chance that they're going to look for an opportunity to hunt. So I think most of our morning we're going to try and spend with these lions and see what they get up to this morning. We are going to just drive a little bit slowly behind them, see if we can follow these lions now. And uh, it seems like these lions, when they walk, they walk and stop and scan and there's a lot of zebra and wildebeest in this area. So it's a good opportunity for them to hunt. I mean, this long grass, they're going to be able to stalk quite low to the ground and have the opportunity to hunt. So it'll be interesting to see what does happen this morning here on Anbion Pinda. I can just see them walking down the road, but we'll just turn this corner and then we'll stop and see if we can get another view. There's also quite a chilly breeze here this morning. That's good hunting conditions today. Yeah, I can see the two youngsters right at the back following mom. I'm just going to turn this corner and then we'll stop and watch them walk down the road. The sun is quite harsh this morning, so... How beautiful is that? Marcus, this is part of the Biala Pride. So it's a, a new section that we've added into Anbion Pinda. It's our far western part of Anbion Pinda. And they actually haven't been this far south in quite a while. So it's, a, the first, it's the second time actually for me to see these lines. So it'll be interesting to see the dynamic. I mean, I can see that there are two younger lines. There's one older uh, sub-adult cub and then two moms, so I mean it will be nice if they do maybe settle down and we can have a, a good look at how, how old those youngsters are. Just by judging the size, I'd say most likely probably about five months old and then the other one maybe eight or nine months, but when we do get a good look, we'll then decide how old these lions are, but they are indeed part of the Biola Pride. We, the two male lines here that dominate the, the southeastern, sorry, the, the southern parts of Ambion Pinda dominates both this pride as well as the, the other pride that we call Mountain Pride. And you can just see that the body language has changed and we, there's quite a thick area here off to our left hand side. I wonder if they haven't maybe heard something rustling in the bushes and I mean you can see look at the body language look at those ears pricked up her face is directly into the, the bush oh, now she got distracted by some flies so 50 I couldn't agree more a magnificent lionesses and their youngsters in this beautiful golden light there couldn't be a better way to start a Wednesday 
then following a proud of lions on the move. And a, a lot of people when they, they come on safari, they always say, oh, lions always sleep. And they do sleep a lot, but when you do get them on the move, it's so, so special. So, I mean, I think this morning we're going to spend some time with these lions. One lioness not too far from the front of this herd of zebra. There was another lioness that has looped around. So this could get quite interesting there. You can see all these zebras come in. There's the lioness. Let's see what she does. There is actually quite a young zebra foal that's in this group there. You can see the zebras have stopped. Just for any sensitive viewers, if this lioness does chase, maybe just look away. But for now, she's probably 30 meters away from where these zebras are. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. There she goes. There she goes. Going for the youngster. She got it. I think she got it. Let's go see. It looked like that. It, it looked like the lioness caught that young foal. I can see the other lions running here. Yeah. There they are. There's some more lions coming off to our right. How amazing was that start to the day? Let's go see. You can see all those zebras have stopped. I'm just following this lioness, seeing where she goes. Yeah. Because those youngsters may just be in the thickets behind us. She's coming back. That, sure, that was exciting, but that could mean that she might be coming to call the youngsters. See, she's contact calling. I can't see if there is any blood on her. On her mouth. And I don't... I don't see the youngster of the herd of zebras. But it'll be interesting to see because there is a line behind us. We're not going to be able to film it just yet. But that contact call is going to bring those youngsters towards where mom is. And it was mom that was chasing the zebras. So we're just going to have to be patient. I don't want to go any closer to these lions because they, we could potentially chase them away. You can see the zebras are standing off to the lions. And mom keeps turning around. So I'm just looking back. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're chasing again. <laughs> what an incredible start to the morning. It'll be amazing to see if there's a lioness coming off to our right hand side. You can see mom just peeking her head over the long grass. Mom is panting and those other zebras have started to run away. That that was incredibly exciting. I mean from them just resting and moving into a thick area to that incredible chase. I can hear the long grass moving off to our right hand side. But the, it'll be interesting to see if she has killed one. I didn't see anything. I think I just got extremely excited. And we'll, we'll just follow them and see. But generally if mom does kill something, often she'll contact call and then take them to where that carcass is. 
also that the mom had singled out that foal, so the, the female the youngster, and she was giving an incredible chase. So let's wait and see if mom can lead us towards where potentially she might have taken. Oh! A little bit of a, a fight. Uh, I don't know, maybe that carcass is there. can hear the youngsters calling just off to our right hand side. Uh, Lucas, to answer your question, the, the lions most likely have the advantage in this terrain. I mean, if you look at the color of the grass and the color of the lions, it's incredible how they are able to blend in to this grass. With the wind in their favor, uh, they've got the upper hand on these zebras. If you sit quietly and listen, you can hear the cubs calling behind us. You can just hear them bounding through the grass. You can imagine for a youngster is not even able to see above the grass. So it's just following the calls of mom. see them going directly sorry about that is mom's contact calling I think let's wait for these youngsters to get to mom and then we'll drive a little bit closer go and investigate and see what's happened but I've got a very good feeling that these lions have caught a zebra Let's try to go a little bit further forward. Some more zebras coming off on the, the hillside. I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Not get too close. Let's start at a wider angle and just see if we can... There's quite a bounce area, so I'm just taking it nice and slowly. There's quite a big fight going on. I'm going to just reposition one more time. I'm pretty sure they've got a carcass. It does indeed look like they have made a kill. How incredible was that seeing everything unfold live in front of us. What an incredible morning. And just hear them growling a little bit. Mom's trying to let those youngsters feed in. You can imagine those youngsters, they might not have fed for a while, so they're going to be quite hungry. And Mom's going to try and protect them from maybe the bigger cubs, see that they can get. Just hear them pulling the meat. Uh, it is quite long grass, so we might just have to try and reposition at a little bit later stage, see if we can get a, another view. But just how incredible was that? Right live in front of us.